Here in Washington today, members of the Senate Banking Committee got their first chance to grill some of the SEC's top officials about the Bernie Madoff scandal. They openly questioned how the agency missed what has been described as the biggest Ponzi scheme in history, despite tips from other market participants. Madoff's fraud was so immense and obvious and took place over such a long period of time, it is simply inexplicable how the SEC missed it. Harry Markopoulos, an independent financial fraud investigator, was trying to draw attention to the Ponzi scheme as early as 1999. However, his argument that it was legally impossible for Bernie Madoff to deliver such high returns to his investors fell on deaf ears. In 2005, you wrote a letter uh, regarding this scheme, and the title of the letter, as I understand it, was, The World's Largest Hedge Fund is a Fraud. Is that correct? Uh, it is. Could you have possibly been more explicit? I even drew pictures, so I don't know how I could have been more explicit. I gave them a road map okay. and a flashlight to find the fraud, and they didn't go where I told them to go. Currently, over 13,000 victims have been identified, with a total loss equivalent to over $50 billion. Through his many connections, he was able to scam victims from all over the United States, with the majority of his victims being located in the Northeast, the West Coast, and Florida, as well as many other locations. His victims range from famous retirees to famous Hollywood figures such as television host Larry King, Hall of Fame pitcher Sandy Koufax, and owner of the Mets, Fred Wilpon. When Maynoff pleaded guilty to the allegations charged against him, many of his victims met him outside to catch a glimpse of the man who had destroyed their lives. Despite being glad of his 150-year sentence, many victims believe he deserves a harsher one. One victim even went as far as to say that instead of being sent to jail, he should be stoned to death. This man has stolen the life, the hard work of so many people, people, who've, who've, people who are immigrants, children of immigrants. Um, they're Jews, they're Christians, they're Muslims, they're Hindus. He, it's across the board. It's a microcosm of America and the damage that he's done. However, in an effort to reduce the financial burden placed on the victims, the Internal Revenue Service is allowing victims to claim a tax reduction based on the size of their losses. The goal being, as Representative Gary Ackerman put it, to refund taxes paid on non-existent gains. Meanwhile, trusting Irving Picard has been tracking down Madoff's assets. So far, $1 billion in Madoff assets has been found, which will be split among the thousands of victims. Though this provides some relief, it will not replace what these victims have lost, nor erase the strain it has put on the financial markets. Perhaps the SEC will take a lesson from their failure to act and improve their regulatory actions to shut down these schemes before they can spiral out of control.